Hi, my name is Dr. Chris Layton. I work at Cairo Med in Orland Park. We're doing a series of informational videos and today's topic is thoracic outlet syndrome. So thoracic outlet syndrome means pressure on the nerves or their arteries that go from the base of the neck out basically to the armpit. So anywhere that there's an impingement along that pathway. The pathway can be impinged either from the SCM muscle, the scaling muscles in the neck, the first rib, the clavicle, clavicle or the pec tendon, putting pressure on either the, the nerves, the brachial plexus, or the artery that supply the hand. So symptoms that uh, correlate with thoracic outlet syndrome tend to be pain either anywhere in the neck, into the shoulder, arm, you could have numbness into the arm, weakness in the arm, numbness tingling in the hand, or cold hands because of loss of blood supply. This shows the pathway of the nerve. So there can be impingement from the base of the neck anywhere through to the shoulder with effects going anywhere from the neck all the way down to the hand. The other thing that can cause thoracic outlet syndrome is a cervical rib. Cervical rib meaning that you should normally have uh, ribs on your thoracic spine. Here they would have an extra rib off the last cervical vertebrae putting pressure into the area where the nerves coming off the brachial plexus so coming from the spine extending out to the shoulder there's, there's pressure from an extra rib. So you have to do an examination to figure out the source of the impingement to determine the type of treatment you're going to do next. So you can have impingement due to the SCM or scaling muscles in the neck. So stretching and myofascial work to help release those muscles to relieve the pressure on the nerves. They extend all the way down to the first rib, which can be affected and put pressure. Loosening muscles through the thoracic uh, cavity, typically the uh, pec muscles which will put pressure on the brachial plexus as it comes through the shoulder complex. So loosening up the pec tendons, adjustments to keep the spine moving well, adjustments to keep the shoulder moving well. If it's due to the blood supply, again, it's going to typically be due to the musculature in the, in the spine or extending laterally out towards the shoulder. So again, you could have pain, you could have numbness, you could have weakness. Going through the exam, we determine where it's from and what to treat. So as we discussed, the muscles involved, sternocleidomastoid or SCM, the scaling muscles in the neck, pec minor tendon in the shoulder. We want to loosen those or stretch those. So through lateral stretching, you have to get a little bit of flexion. We're coming through the neck here. Again, to loosen those muscles, reduce the pressure on the nerves. You can stretch the pec here. So we'll prescribe stretches as well for patients to do at home. And then adjustments. Good. And now you've seen treatment for thoracic outlet syndrome. So if you have any questions or feel you might have symptoms related to thoracic outlet syndrome, feel free to call the doctors at Cairo Med. Our phone number is 708-403-2727. Thanks.